Burger interview time with Aaron Coscarelli. Woo! So exciting. Um, I've known Aaron for years, and I'm so proud of you and where you've gone with your career. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Aaron, uh, you're a sideline reporter, you're a host, you're also an anchor of a sports show. So what is it like when you are live and you're interviewing athletes, uh, the stadiums, how many people are in some of these stadiums? Thousands upon thousands. It's full. Tens because of thousands. Because the, the, what's great about San Francisco, the sports, sports culture is intense. I, in my opinion, stronger than, than LA, I'll be quite honest. Wow. She's like from really, LA. You can say I, that. And I'm from LA, so I actually can say that because that's all they have there. They love their sports and their teams are also super competitive. They're all really good. I mean, the Giants obviously struggled this year, but the Giants last year, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The A's last year, phenomenal. The 49ers, phenomenal. The Raiders, you know, they are, they've been struggling, but they're, they're, crazy. they're getting the better. Raider and they're the, the Raider fans, Raider Nation, it's amazing. So it's an awesome place to be covering sports when you're when you're talking to someone who loves to listen to what you're saying. But when you're on the field, is it really loud? Yeah. Can you? It is. It's and have deafening. You ever <gasps> I have yet to get tackled. However, I was covering the Stanford Oregon game and it was as soon as the Stanford as soon as Stanford beat Oregon, we were on the field and it was like flying like I was trying to do a report and flying just people. Players? Like I swear I was like I was in a movie like with zombies and they were <laughs> almost hitting Simba. me and my camera. Simba with oh, the, Simba. With yes, the exactly. Two points for that. Get to the high I love Lion King, so that was awesome. Yeah. The energy is just it's it's addictive it's what fun. are the athletes like are they the athletes are actually awesome like the warriors they're they young love you oh i don't know about that <laughs> yeah. how many, i don't how know many about that you ask for your numbers? no yeah. never yeah. never yeah. it's business it's yeah. business all the time so i mean and but they're nice people they don't just like feel inconvenienced when you're doing interviews right. with them they're they're smart guys they're hard-working guys they're passionate themselves they want to win so you know we're a team we're trying to give them some credit that they're that they deserve and we're trying to put on a good show any embarrassing moments that has happened to you oh that's a good question oh, yeah. you know there's embarrassing moments all the time I mean for the most part the fans they just they just are happy you're you're standing next to Brandon Crawford or you're talking right. to somebody that they love so I mean they, yeah. they don't really listen to me I think they just more listen to whoever I'm talking and to. When you moved from Los Angeles to San Francisco, what was that like? Because you were already really into the the, the sports here. Yeah, it was an adjustment. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna say it was, it was, it was hard because you're l moving to a whole new world of just city life and I had no friends up there. I didn't really know anybody. I mean, you just, w which actually ended up being a good thing because I had no distractions. I was just at work. I was just doing, focusing on the teams, focusing on my work. So it was, it was actually a good thing to not have distractions. And then what a great city to move to, right? I, I mean, know. it's such a fun San city. Francisco's There's amazing. always something to do. Yeah. So, it's I mean, it's a good transition a, city too. It is a good transition city because coming from LA, you don't have city life. I mean, you know, there really isn't that hub. You have that in San Francisco. And then what do I do for a workout? I run out, I go run the Embarcadero. I'm like breathing oh, in yeah, sea air and I'm like, oh, this is amazing. I've I just love this city. I've seen your Instagram photos where yeah. you're on your runs. I'm like, that sounds really, really cool. Every, everything is like a postcard. Do you eat a lot of chowder and bread bowls? Oh, yes. Or chowder. I yeah. eat, like, I don't eat a lot of chowder. I just eat a lot of good food. Like, okay, the food excellent. up there is so good. Can you, you bark just like a seal? Because there's a lot of seals out there. Uh, 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 uh. I can't sorry, compete with that. Me? I'm sorry. I can't compete with that. I'm sorry, was that my There name? are a lot of seals. They're so freaking cute, those yeah. seals. They smell, but they're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but so does the clam chowder, yeah. let's be honest. All right, so we are so happy that Aaron was able to join us. Where can people check you out? Uh, you can go on my Twitter page, ecoscorellicsn, mm -hmm. or Instagram, okay. or go to csnbayarea.com.